everyone. Welcome to the ARC, sort of. Welcome to the ARC family room. My name is Allison Reed. I'm the house manager at the ARC, and I am so thrilled to have you join us this evening um, for this show with Jason Denny and Rochelle Clark. Jason and Rochelle are longtime friends of the ARC, and we're thrilled to have them here um, virtually uh, in all of your own living rooms or wherever you're watching from. Um, many watching tonight may already be very familiar with the ARC, but just in case you're not, uh, we want to tell you just a tiny little bit about what we do. We are a nonprofit organization, a live music venue in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, we've been here since 1965, and we do what we do with a very small staff and hundreds of volunteers. It's a wonderful place. We have every intention of getting back into the space and having shows and bringing audiences in, and I hope that you'll be in the audience um, for something when we get started again. In the meantime, thank you for, for this evening and thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting live music, even in this virtual world. Um, Jason and Rochelle, as I mentioned, are longtime friends of the ARC. It's gonna be a wonderful evening. Um, for this evening, there is a tip jar, a virtual tip jar. Um, it might be displayed on your screen and it might be um, only posted in the comment sections wherever you're watching tonight. If you are willing and able to make any donations, the, the tip jar tonight, the money will be sp split between the ARC and the performers. So thank you for that. Um, I think that's all I have for you. We should get the show started. Uh, Jason and Rochelle, thanks to you guys. Take it away.
right along here? We are. Yeah, we're going to do uh, one of Jason's tunes. This is called In My Arms. All right, you ready? <laughs> one, two, three, four. No way is a man that can love you quite like the way I've learned to do. You've gone and bent me over backwards, broke my heart until I'm blue. And my friends all think I must be crazy to still love you from afar. When the only love I get back, darling, from this faithful whiskey jar What does he tell me that I don't? What will he do that I won't? What can I say to make his blues go away? Have me back again, dear, in my arms I read your letter late last night Dreamed it was written yesterday And it told of how you'd always love me How you'd see our wedding day But that day with you and wife never came Gone are the thoughts and memories Of a love we thought could not be broken It's now in pieces of my dreams What does he tell you that I don't? What can I say to make these blues go away? Have me back again, dear, in my for joining us and, and for your patience as we're getting things going. Um, so my name is Rochelle. This is Jason, Jason Denny, and over here on the banjo is Mr. Keith Billick. If you're like me, you think that banjo makes everything sound better. I might be in the minority with that. I mean, two against one, so... I mean, it really is, yeah. Yeah, I'm team banjo. Yeah. All the way. Um, but at the beginning of the year, in January, I released an EP. It's kind of a long time coming, and, uh, you know, back when the world looked a lot different, which was only six months ago. <laughs> um, but this is the title track of that EP. Um, this is um, a tune that uh, was written with former duo project The Potter's Field, and this is called In Time. One, two, three, four. 
life is like a broken glass it stops out full but it don't last days go by like so much rain a well-made flood of joy and So we did um, a spotlight series for the ARC. I think it came out in their newsletter a week or so ago. And we did this next song, which um, I wrote, I was going through kind of a, just a weird space, and I felt like I'd been in it for a really long time. And it kind of, Reminds me of what's going on right now. We know that there's, there was a, there's a before, and there certainly will be an after. We don't know what that looks like. We don't know when it's coming. Um, and part of what makes that so hard is that we're we're in this limbo. We're in this space where right now everything looks the same. Everything looks Groundhog's Day. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah. This next tune is called In Between, and that's kind of where we're all at right now. Oh, you got the electric, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tired of losing all the time. 
In between. In between. Right? That's kind of where we're all at, right? It really is. So, um, this next tune, probably my weirdest tune. If you know me, that shouldn't surprise you. Um, but uh, I used to have this dream as a kid, and it was a recurring dream. And I know it was because my favorite book was The Secret Garden, probably revealing way more than all of you ever wanted to know. Um, but I read that front to back so many times, and I would have this, this same dream as a kid. And um, so 
so that's kind of what inspired this next one. I like to think that if Tom Waits wrote a lullaby, it would sound something like this. <laughs> See you. 
Nighty nights. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that is on the EP called In Time, which I guess I should say is available on all of the platforms. It's on iTunes and Amazon Music and Spotify and all of those good places. Um, that was probably the song that I had the most fun recording on. These guys were also there, and we had um, a wonderful bass player named John Sprendy, and then we had um, Billy Harrington on drums, and he hadn't even heard that song, and he came in, and I was like, you know, I'm really hearing this weird drum thing on, on this, and um, I won't ruin it for you. Just go get the EP and listen to it. It's pretty sweet. See what I did there? Yeah. And for those that are chiming in, thank you so much. We appreciate the open ear greatly. Uh, we do love the ARC. We both have our own history with yes. the ARC, and um, to have their support's a pretty incredible thing that we're very, very grateful for. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you. And um, hopefully all of you are showing support to the ARC as well. We were seeing as we were getting set up that, you know, the ARC is such an important thing in our community, and I think because it's in our backyard, we sometimes forget how incredibly special it is. And, uh, you know, if you're tuning in and you've never seen a show there, that should change. Soon as shows are able to happen in person again. Never mind us. You guys having a band meeting without yeah. me? <laughs> um, so this is, uh, this is another tune off the EP. This is called... Wish me well. Wish me well. 
This is still a part about this I'll never get used to is the lack of applause. It's just, uh, that's, that's been a new thing to get used to. I've been used to the lack of applause for years. <laughs> I could give you some tips. Thank I, you. I could take a workshop on that perhaps. <laughs> so um, I did want to take a moment to um, let you know that uh, some of you may have been tuning in and watching. We've been doing these live streams every other Thursday from the dining room, and we are decidedly not in the dining room today. So um, we are at 2188 uh, Studios in Chelsea, and um, huge thank you to Ben and Lucas Daniels for um, letting us crash the place and providing this beautiful yes. room and, and background. So Huge props to Ben and yes. Lucas, thank you so much. Thanks for getting our good angles. That's worth its weight in gold right there. All right. So uh, this next tune is uh, is my I feel like it's my um, 2020 theme song. Who hasn't felt this way? Let's just go right into it. Oh yeah, I started, don't I? Yes, you started. <laughs> I remember when, I remember when I lost my mind. There's something so pleasant about that face. Even your emotions have an echo. There's so much space. You're out there without a care. Yeah, I was out of touch.
That was crazy. That was crazy, man. <laughs> so 2020. <laughs> so 2020. That is 2020 um, in a nutshell. That is a Gnarls Barkley tune, if you need it. I mean, who doesn't need to just go crazy <laughs> right now? I highly recommend it. <laughs> are doing okay and having a good night. This is certainly um, the best Wednesday that I have had in a really long time. Yeah, right? Yeah. Th th thir third. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, so this next tune uh, is, uh, yeah, this is a tune called Jericho and I wrote this about a year, year and a half ago. <clears throat> Woo, that was wrong. I'm gonna do that again.
We should do something happy. <laughs> um. You know, it is, it's one of those things, especially in, in this summer, uh, realizing that there's, there's not a whole lot of happy material that we have or that we do. Not even just this summer, just in general. Just in general, just yes. In it's, general, there's, there's not a lot of happy stuff there. But we don't gravitate toward that. The sad songs make us oh so happy but we realize that that might not be the case for everyone but here's a happy one I think here's a happy one Oh, the flowers and leaves may turn 
appreciate you spending your evening with us and you know maybe some of you have never heard of us before and you're taking a chance listening to some Michigan musicians that you're not familiar with so thank you very much and uh, yeah thank you to the ARC thank you to the ARC and a big big thanks to Keith Billick once again for joining us on banjo absolutely (laughs) you can hear people (laughs) from the control room ooh um What's your favorite show that you saw at the Ark? Oh, it's been so many. So many. Um, well, what stands out? Uh, the Joshua Redman Quartet, a okay. great uh, jazz band. Okay. Saw them. I saw Lady Smith Black Mombasa there. I saw Del McCurry Band there when I was first starting to play banjo, and then it totally melted my face and changed my life. So, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I don't know if I could even count how many times I've been there and always seen great stuff. So. Yeah. And yeah. you've played there a bunch too. Yeah, which was like beyond my wildest dreams when I started going there, right? <laughs> right, like, right. Yeah, but I would play there someday, so very cool. What about you? Favorite shows? Yeah, favorite shows at the Ark. Um, you know, actually when uh, Chris Thiele and Mike Marshall put out that record Into the Cauldron, um, that may have been 10 years ago or so now, but uh, two mandolins and to be able to be in the second row and hear the sound on the stage versus the, the house, if that makes sense. Um, that's the thing about the art. You get to hear things in such a way that it's like a living room. Um, yeah. But that was definitely one of my favorite. Uh, again, melting faces for sure. <laughs> but there's been too many. Lonesome River Band, Dora Lawson and Quicksilver, the Patty Griffin Show, Patty, yes. Buddy Miller, Jim Lauderdale. I mean, there's just way too many shows to, to count. Um, and you've played I have to go there. Through my kids to right? to you <laughs> you've played there a ton. I've played there a lot. It's, it's weird to think I, I first hit that stage in 1997 with Over the Rhine before I lived here and um, ended up moving here in, in 99, 2000 and uh, have been playing that stage for 20 years. It, it, it's, it's a great feeling to have that kind of place in our backyard and, and to also have them like some of us. Yeah. That's a, that's a like bonus. <laughs> <laughs> but th- the ARC, thank you so much yes. for reaching out and, and extending that to us. Thank you. So, uh, two shows that stand out to me, I mean, I've seen a lot, a lot of shows there, but um, Casey Chambers and Shane Nicholson, um, when they were touring with, um, oh God, the name of it, uh, Rattle and Bones, if you've not heard that record, go pick it up. It totally changed my life. Um, And then, um, about a year or so ago, I got to see uh, War and Treaty there, and... It was like going to church. <laughs> it was so beautiful. Um, so support the ARC any way that you can. And these experiences can be yours. <laughs> um, let's do one of yours. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I was lost in thought there for a moment. I know. I, I set that up so well for you. No, I'm gonna, I always send this out to my, uh, to my old man who's no longer with us. But... Uh, this is, this is a bit of a true story of his life. This is called A Honey Hangover. One, two, three. Thought I finally found me true love On a cloud so high I can't come down Found I was wrong and the floor was quite long The girl's no longer Pick myself up, brushed it all off, went out to find sympathy. Came in the shape of 
a bottle I'd make it an empty by me Always drink in that same lovely bottle Sunday to Saturday ride Ending the same love's painful game Can't stop drinking that trouble inside A Sunday to Saturday ride Mr. Keith Bellick on the banjo. And again, 2188 Studios out yes. here in Chelsea. We Thanks for going with the flow with us. Yeah. Thank you so much for saying yes. <laughs> um, so, uh, sorry Keith, I'm gonna embarrass you. He, uh, Keith has a great podcast. Um, called Picky Fingers, which is all about banjo, and I highly recommend it. Even if you uh, are not familiar with banjo players, I think you'll like it. Sorry, too much talking and not enough tuning. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave you with this one. This is a this is a co-write with my good friend Mary Pogi. This is one called Fly. Fly, 
Thank you so much, folks. Thank you so, so much. My name is Rochelle Clark. This is Jason Denny. 
and we are honored to be a part of the Family Room series. Thank you for spending your evening with us. Yeah, have a lovely rest of the week. Thank you so much.